All right, welcome to yoga. Today we are going to do yoga for a tough day. So we're going to start on our backs. And I'm just going to have my hands out to the side, palms down, and my knees up. And I'm just going to start with some easy knee drops to the right and then to the left. So just take a few minutes to kind of settle here. Maybe do some breathing with these knee drops. Inhale as you bring the knees up. Exhale as you take them to the side. Inhale. Exhale. And maybe give yourselves a couple nice big sighs. Inhale. Good. And then hug the knees into the chest and circle to the right. Just giving that lower back a little love. And the other way. Hmm. Yes, this feels good. Let's take a nice deep breath. Inhale and stretch the fingertips away from the toes. Getting a lot of length. And then we'll take a nice deep long exhale and sweep the arms down. And let's come up to sitting. And then we'll just take a prayer right here and we'll do a slow twist down right, left right, left, and then a big stretch. Exhale, swing the arms down and up. If you want to challenge yourselves, you can leave the toes off the floor or you can place them on the ground and then just do a slow twist, right, left, right, left. And down, big inhale, lengthen, stretch. Exhale, sweep the hands down, hold. Inhale, prayer, twist, right, left, right, left, and down. Big breath in and exhale. Getting a little heat right away in our core. Slow twist, right, left, right, left, and stretch. Good. Just circle those ankles a little bit in this stretch, uh, and then one way and then the other. And bring those feet back to the floor. We're going to Hip, uh, we're going to do some bridges, but we're going to lift the arms with the pelvis. So inhale, pushing the feet into the floor, taking the arms and sweeping them overhead. And exhale, nice and slow, arms come down with the pelvis. Good. Let's do four more in our own time. Activating the glutes and the thighs, focusing on the breath and the matching of the movement of our body with the movement of the breath. It's a way to kind of bring ourselves to the work today, bring ourselves to our bodies and to our mats, and also get some heat going right away because we're having this very 
crazy desert weather where it's hot during the day and cold as soon as that sun goes down, which it's doing now. And the next time you go up, leave the hands down on the floor and just stay here and bridge for a minute. If you want, you can stay here or you can tuck your right shoulder and then your left shoulder underneath your chest and clasp the hands together and press the hands down into the floor. Just to get a little bit of a deeper opening stretch in the chest. Breathe here. And on the exhale, unclasp the hands if you have them clasped and untuck the shoulders and slowly vertebrae by vertebrae, bring that pelvis down to the floor and go ahead and hug the knees to the chest. Cross the right leg over the left and then grab the shins of two legs and just pull them gently down towards your chest. Woo! You should feel a nice stretch in that right glute like uh, and hamstring. Hmm, just breathe. Go ahead and uncross the legs, give them a little shake up in the air, and then cross the left over the right and grab those shins and pull them to the chest. You should feel a nice stretch on the left hamstring and left lower glute. Hmm, just release. And uncross those legs, shake and shake and shake. And let's go ahead and bring the soles of the feet together and just let the legs fall open, the knees fall open. Let's Go ahead and place our left hand on our heart and our right hand on our belly. And we're just gonna do three deep inhales and then we're gonna double the exhale. So we'll do like a three count or a four count inhale and then a six or eight count exhale, whatever you want. So you're gonna double the exhale. So here we go. I'm gonna inhale for one, two, Three, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, four, two more. Excellent, now we've settled ourselves. Let's take that inhale, arms above the head. Exhale, peel your upper body off the floor slowly, reach for the toes. Come all the way up to sitting, grab the front of the knee, arch, look up. And exhale, round the pelvis, scoop the belly button, drop the chin. Inhale, arch, look up. Press those shoulders down. Exhale, contract back. Two more. And let's mix it up like a we're in a a uh, kitchen mixer taking the rib cage to the right, S 
swirling that rib cage forward, side, back. Pulling against those knees. And I'm gonna try the other direction. Add the breath. Good. Go ahead and cross the legs. I've got my left in front of my right right now. We're just going to do a little shoulder warm up, bringing those arms together in front of us, elbows kissing each other. Inhale, take those elbows back, scrape that back wall with your forearms, and then try to connect those elbows as soon as you can as you bring them forward. Keep them connected as long as you can as you lift them up and then send them down and back again. So we're just tracing super big circles with those elbows. So yoga, when you have a tough day, is all about forgiveness and the way that we can forgive our bodies is by breathing into them. Let's reverse that circle, taking the elbows back. Inhale, scrape that back wall and then try to connect the elbows as soon as you can. So as we do this, thinking about sending a lot of forgiving love to our bodies right now with our breath, imagine that breath just being filled with little shiny hearts, <laughs> sparkly hearts. Good. Let's take the hands down to the knees and just take the right ear to the right shoulder. And left ear to left shoulder. And right, let's leave that uh, left ear to left shoulder and just tilt that chin up. Oh, look at that. Nice stretch. And tilt the chin down. And let's do the other side, right ear to right shoulder. <sighs> Tilting the, sh the chin slowly up on the diagonal. Really try to ground down that left shoulder. And then take the sh uh, chin down towards the chest. Beautiful. Take those legs out into a nice easy V. We're going to flex the feet. Taking the right arm up, nice big inhale, little stretch, gentle over to the left, looking under the right armpit, rooting the left, sorry, the right hip. Breathe here. You can grab hold of that foot if you want, or the toe, hook the fingers between the toe just to give yourself a little leverage. And then recover, try the other side. Mm, big ex inhale, exhale, right over. Feels good. Rooting the opposite hip and uh, dropping the scapula, opening up the chest to the ceiling. And then we're going to just do a few rainbows here. Up and over, taking that hand, left hand to the mat, trying to get the elbow all the way down to the mat. And then inhale, up and over other side. Just little side to side flow. Keeping the sits bones grounded down. Mm -hmm. Good, a couple more.
Then we'll bring the soles of the feet back to the center, <clears throat> hugging the toes. We're gonna open up those feet like a book. So the, the pinky sides of the feet are touching each other. And we're sending the elbows into the calves, just pushing those knees down into the floor. Also engaging the arms, getting a little strength action going there. And then when you're ready, you can release the book, the feet, the foot book, grab the toes and just drop the forehead down towards the toes. Heavy torso, big breath. Good. Let's take those knees up and we'll tuck the left under and the right over. Kind of remove the booty so that you can kind of sit right on top of those sits bones. Mm, kind of feel like lengthening here. Let's pull that left arm straight up and drop the right shoulder. And then as we exhale, send that left arm down and just give yourself a very gentle spinal twist here, looking over the right shoulder. And swing around, uncross. Maybe take those feet out in front of you for a minute and just let the knees fall to the right and fall to the left. Whew. Get a little bit of mobility there in the hip joints. This is so important uh, for those of us who sit a lot in our chairs. And also just the pelvis can hold a lot of stress. Uh, let's tuck the right under the left this time. Get on top of those sits bones. Let's lengthen the right arm as we drop the left arm and the left scapula. Oh, that just feels so good. On the exhale forward, hook that elbow into the knee and then just gentle little spinal twist here. And recover. All right, taking those feet out in front. Let's come into a table, fingertips facing forward, inhale, chin to chest, squeeze those shoulders behind you, exhale, come into table. You can leave the chin tucked or you can send it to the ceiling. Breathe. See if you can get that pelvis a little higher. And release, and then just swing those arms forward, grab hold of the feet, and just send the eye sockets to the knee, and pull the belly button towards the spine. And swing those arms back. You can do table again, or you can extend the legs, and come into reverse plank, inhale, squeeze the shoulders behind you, exhale, lift the pelvis, breathe. On the exhale, come on down. Good, let's swing those legs around and come onto all fours. 
We'll do our bread and butter, knees under, uh, under pelvis, hands under shoulders, inhale. Arch, look up, around, look down. If you want to add a little mobility to this, take your hands slightly in front of your shoulders and round into a little cobra and then round, sorry, arch back into a prayer. Inhale as you round into the cobra. Exhale as you arch into the prayer. And if you want, you can even take the knees a little wider than the toes. Feels a little awkward <laughs> in the cobra. So you can kind of adjust as you go. And I'll meet you down in prayer. This is a good half halfway point. If you ever need to come down and take a moment, prayer is always a great place to do that. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna come on up and we are going to actually come on to the top of our knees with our feet up in the air and we're just going to come down three half push-ups yeah with our feet up in the air boobs to the floor ladies one and two and three good let's come back down into prayer and then when we come up we're going to bring that right leg forward. Woo. All right, let's tuck the back toe and come into a runner's lunge with our hands inside the right foot. Do a little rock and roll here as needed. All right, and then we're going to maybe take a block if you have it. Or if you don't need it, that's fine. And come on down onto your elbows, your forearms. Let's breathe here. So super important to honor that these are not, they seem like simple poses, but they can bring up a lot. So no, you know, if, if you start feeling anxious or worried or anything while you're in these big hip stretches, you can always back off. We're gonna leave the, the, the hands here. We're gonna push back into pyramid with the hands inside the right leg, the right foot, and then back into the runner's lunge. We're just gonna take a few little mobility flow uh, exchanges between the, the stretch with both legs straight and the head down towards the knee, and then back into runner's lunge. So a couple of times, just find a good rhythm. You can use your block. Also, if you want to have your hands on the blocks. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to find that breath. Good, and I'll meet you back down in runner's lunge and we'll take a little twist here, just because we can. <laughs> And hand comes down. Let's go ahead and drop that knee, flex the front foot. Now I'm taking my hands on either side of the leg. I'm gonna do a little rotation in the hip joint here. 
Toes turn out, toes turn in, toes turn out, toes turn in. And now we're gonna do a little torso flow. So we're gonna arch on the way down and round on the way up. I've got my fingers propped up, kind of like pyramids. So I got a little ripple undulation of the spine over the leg. If this is uncomfortable or the, the balance is hard, you can just place the hands down on the floor, either side of the foot and just stretch here. And let's rock that forward and swing that leg around. And while we're here, let's tuck those toes and just sit back for a minute, get off the, get off the wrists. In fact, you might want to shake them out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and place my blocks behind me so we can do a camel. Go ahead and untuck the toes and just gently tap them the top of the feet on the floor to get the blood moving back there. Come on back. Now you can do camel up on the knees with the hands on the lower back, fingertips facing down and just kind of press into your arch with the hands pressing into the back or you can grab hold of the ankles or the heels or your blocks and come into camel from here. And release. Good. Bring those blocks back up. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead. Gosh, now I'm forgetting how we. What did we do? <laughs> we, did we come into down dog? No, we didn't. Let's just come into down dog. I forget how we got into our runner's lunge, but you know what? Down dog feels good right now. We so just stepped forward. We just stepped forward. Nothing fancy, huh? <laughs> All right. Let's get, let's stick in a down dog just because we're here. Oh, feels good. Wrap those shoulders out and down. Belly button into the spine, six bones up. All right, let's drop down onto our knees and step forward. Look at that. Tuck the toe, come into the runner's lunge. The hands are on the inside of the left foot. Rock and roll here. Sometimes I get so simple that I think it can't even be that simple. <laughs> I'm making it more difficult than it needs to be. Ooh. All right. If you want, take your blocks or and put them on the inside of your foot or just go ahead and put your forearms down on the floor. Breathe here. If this is too much for the hip, you can always put the knee down onto the floor, the right knee. All right. Coming back up, we're going to do a little twist. Left arm comes up. And hands come down and we're gonna move between the runner's lunge and the pyramid with straight legs, nose to knee. Well, I guess the nose can't really go to the knee because the hands are on the inside of the foot. So the nose just drops. Just a couple of stretches here.
It's amazing how different these things feel with just a different placement of the hands. We usually do this with the hands on um, either side of the front foot. And uh, this just feels more intense to me. I don't know about you. Next time you come down into runner's lunge, drop that knee. And this time we'll take the hands to the outside of the foot, the left hand to the outside of the foot. Send the pelvis back slightly towards the heels, flex that left foot. Do a few rotations of the leg and the hip joint. And then you can do propped fingers and a few little spinal uh, undulations. Or you can always just hang out with the hands flat on the floor, reaching out past the foot and just stretching that torso over the leg, draping the torso over the leg. And come on forward, hands to the inside, take that knee back. And let's just come into prayer and then back up on top of our knees. And we're gonna do three more gentle push-ups. One, two, and three. Good. All right, time for our pranayama. Find a comfortable position. I'm going to come onto my knees. Twenty breaths. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, down. And you, I invite you to play with your arms, whatever arm movements you want to do, it's Yogi's choice. Begin when you're ready. Three more. On that last one, interlace those fingers, send them to the ceiling. Exhale, drop the shoulders down, and then one at a time, walk the shoulders up the ladder. Up, 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 up. up. And take those arms down slowly, keeping that length in the torso. Woo, feels good. All right, get some water and we will move on. All right, coming to the back of our mat, we're gonna do a roll down into plank. Starting in mountain, nice and slow. We're gonna roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Heavy head, heavy arms, all the way into a delicious forward fold. Go ahead and hang out here, shake it out, shake the head no. 
Woo. Shake the head, yes. And then as you wish, you can either come all the way down into a curve and then walk out into a plank, or you can come from the forward fold and just walk out to a plank. We're gonna lift the heels as high as we can and then fall onto the left side of our left foot and come into side plank. So I kind of rotate my feet onto the side, the left side of my feet, and I'm pushing into the floor, looking up at the ceiling. And when I'm ready, I'm coming back to plank and then I'm walking the hands back, however you want to do that, through the forward fold and then back all the way to standing. Good. Big breath. Exhale. One more time. Dropping the chin to the chest. Slowly coming down into a nice juicy forward fold. If you want, you can take weight into the hands and bend the knees over the toes, lifting the belly button towards the spine. Walk out into plank. This time, you know what to do. Rotate onto the other side, whatever other side that was for you, and come into side plank, lifting the torso towards the ceiling, looking up, pressing the hand into the floor. And coming back through plank, walking the hands back. and rolling slowly. Good. Last week we did some balancing challenges. I'm gonna do a little modified one right now. We're gonna do a, a facing forward on your mat. So you've got a mat behind you. We're gonna shift our weight onto our left and come into that four position. The letter, the, the number four with our right ankle resting on top of our left knee. Arms are up by the ears, shoulders and scapulas dropped, belly button lifted. So let's just find that four. When you're ready, we're gonna stand tall, rooting and grounding that standing leg into the floor, lifting the knee towards the chest. And then we're going to send that leg back into warrior three, arms go back with the leg. Establish the warrior three, nice and slow. And then step back into your crescent and let's take the arms up. All right, let's just breathe here for a minute. All we're gonna do is inhale here, exhale, come down into a diagonal. So we're really using the back muscles and the core to move that torso up into an arch, and then forward into that diagonal line. Couple more. Good. Coming back into crescent, we're gonna push off that back leg and come into standing splits. Hands down by the feet. So our leg is trying to get up in the air as our head tries to get towards our knee. Good. We're just gonna lower that leg to the floor, tap the toe and then lift it again. Tap the toe, lift it again. Last time. 
tap the toe, lift it again. Good, put that foot down, put the heel down, rotate the toes forward and come into pyramid, facing forward, the feet should be wider than the hips, grab hold of the elbows and just take a little figure eight with the torso. Heavy head. Ooh. Big exhale, maybe even a side. You're freezed. Can you hear me now? Hear me now? Yes, um, yes now, yes now. All right, almost there. Hands to the We're gonna move into just a side stretch. So I'm bending leg and I'm flexing the left foot. Now, some of you may be able to keep your heel on the floor. I cannot do that. My right heel is off the floor. My right knee is reaching to the wall and my left toe is up towards the ceiling and my hands are forward. All right, spider woman, Back to center, come on into a sumo stretch, hands in prayer. And when you're ready, push into the floor and come to standing. Woo! All right, how'd you do on that? We're gonna do the other side. Okay, yeah, I got some thumbs up. Yeah, just bang it out, bang it out. A little rub down. I'm gonna have to face this way, I think. Okay, so we start in mountain, kind of near the top of our mat. Shift the weight onto the right, come into the four one-legged chair pose. And let's just breathe here, settle in. Pressing into the floor. Try to get as much length as you can coming into like a, almost like a tree pose with your uh, knee, left knee coming towards the ceiling as close to the chest as you possibly can. We're gonna send that leg back as well as the arms into warrior three. Whew. The side is a little bit tricky. When you're ready, slowly with control, come into the crescent pose. And then we're gonna do a little flow here, coming into the diagonal and back up. Inhale as you rise, exhale as you lean forward. All the way back up. Now we're gonna use the momentum of the upper body coming forward to push into that down uh, standing split. So our hands are on the floor, toe is reaching towards the ceiling. We're gonna lower and lift that leg. Inhale. Exhale. 
Nice and slow. Beautiful, you guys. And send that leg down. Now drop onto the heel of the left leg and bring the toes forward. Coming into pyramid. Hands to the elbows and figure eight. That should feel really good. Hands to the left, turn out the left toe, bend the heel over the knee over the toe, send the hands forward and flex the right foot. When you're ready, come back to a sumo stretch, hands in prayer. And then using your power of your legs, stand up. Whew. Shake it out. I gotta get some water. All right, yogis, let's just let's just settle ourselves with a tree here. All right. <laughs> After all of that, you know, tree seems very hard. <laughs> all right. Just find a comfortable tree and just settle. If you want, grab that knee, bring it front, and do a little standing spinal twist. Other side when you're ready. Good. All right. We're going to do, uh, we're going to get into pigeon, but we're going to get there creatively. <clears throat> Come to the back of your mats. We'll do a nice deep inhale with the arms sweeping up. Exhale, dive through those arms. Come into forward fold. Let's do a little halfway up and halfway down. Just to get that breath going, we're gonna walk into downward dog. Okay, we did this, I don't know, a few times ago. It's a little weird, go with me here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace the right toe up the left knee. And I'm kind of propping my right hands up to look under my right armpit. Now I'm gonna really crunch the knee into the chest as I bring the hands back to the floor and I send it forward into pigeon and then pull those hips back and release into pigeon. So we just get, it's a little moment to get a little extra core 
and a little extra arm and shoulder strength coming into pigeon. And we're just gonna release in pigeon here. So just breathe, whatever feels comfortable, either on your hands or your elbows or releasing all the way down, forehead onto the floor. And come on up, hands to the mat, tuck that back toe, go back to down dog. Now we're gonna try the other side. So we're gonna trace the toe up the side of the right leg. I'm propping my left fingertips up to look under the left armpit. Now, as I bring the knee forward, I'm really tucking it, tucking it, tucking it into the chest before I bring it down into pigeon. Inhale, a little stretch here. Exhale, release down. Good, let's come up, tuck that toe, send that left leg back into down dog, come into plank and we're gonna do our last three push-ups. Now you can do them full plank or you can do them the way that we did them earlier. 